Hello, welcome to another Ginger Map Petition video and I had a few requests for this particular video and that is to go through the A-level Paper 1 and Paper 5 grey boundaries from Cambridge International A-level 9709. So if you're really curious about what it takes to get an A grade on these two papers, then this is the video for you. I'm going to go through that now and make sure you're very clear what you need to get to get that A grade. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go through my analysis here on the paper one to start with. And the first thing to notice here is the marks are quite consistent in order to get an A grade. Now, one thing to notice here, there is an outlier here. So if you look at May 2022, variant three, that's at 79%. But if you look at generally speaking, you can see it fluctuates between say 68% and about 72%. Uh, B is slightly more varied. You can see there's a 71% in May 2021, variant three, but generally we're hanging around between 53% and 63%. And to get a C, you're generally looking for around the 50%, but that can vary as well. Now, if we actually look at the averages for paper one, you can see on average, you need to get 71% on paper one to get the A with a standard deviation of 3.57%. So I would say here, generally speaking, if you're getting 75%, on this paper one, then you've got a very good chance of getting an A grade. Likewise with B, you can see the standard deviation here is slightly higher, which means I would predict here at 65%, that would then give you the comfortable B. And then to get a C, I would certainly predict 50% to get that. Now, if we look at paper five, notice it's out of 50 marks, which means then you can get a little bit more volatility with the actual percentages. But you can see there is some relative consistency here. Generally, the grey boundaries on paper five uh, on this probability and statistics paper is higher, generally speaking. And if we go down and scroll down, we'll see that the mean average here is 77% with a standard deviation of 3.81%. So with the paper five, if you're getting around 80%, you know on average you're going to get that A grade. Likewise, with a B around about 70% and then with a C, 55%. So if you'd like to have any more information on this, then please do let me know in the comments below. And if you want to recap a lot of what you've done on the A-level maths paper one specifically, then do check out the video right in front of you, where I spend two hours really getting you up to speed with those fundamental skills that you need for A-level maths.